What is going on, fellow Bravo Tears? <laughs> I gotta come up with a name for the, the Bravo guys now. So, as you can see, I have a Mitsubishi Bravo <clears throat> behind me, Route 66. Route 66 edition from Japan. Um, very, very, very cool. It's got the it's got the eagle on it. I mean, it's it's representing America, America in Japan. So, um, I was uh, me and Special K's picked it up from the port uh, today, Saturday, yesterday, Friday. Um, completely just a flawless pickup. But um, I'm changing the oil on it today, and um, I wasn't gonna film it or anything because it is just changing the oil on this thing. I did buff and ceramic coat it, and it is like, it's like a mirror. If you saw my Instagram reel, I mean, you can see the pollitos right there. Um, I did a little Instagram reel showing after we buffed it, and it looks like a mirror. It's just crazy. So anyways, changing the oil today. Um, it's really crummy weather all of a sudden, of course. It's been super nice, and then all of a sudden, poof, we got hit with uh, clouds and a little bit of rain, which is bummer so i haven't taken it out to the back to do a video because i cannot wait to show you guys this and all the little the little features on this guy but changing the oil um like i said i wasn't gonna film it but i figured hey if you're gonna be getting a bravo um this might be some important information that you need to pay attention to um especially for someone who just uses 5w30 in most their k cars for the oil change um, that's that's what I've been using but this one being a Bravo and a certain engine 5w30 is a no-go in this one so I'll show you what's up so here's on here's the engine pretty clean it was um, serviced in Japan so I got the blue NGK wires Freaking power steering, you gotta be kidding me. Didn't even know I had power steering. I was real surprised when I pulled this cover up and saw that, but let's focus here. So, if you import a Bravo and you're like, oh man, I don't know where my VIN tag is. Sandbars, it's usually up here on the kick panels or here somewhere on the vans, on the Hondas. It's a little different, but on the Mitsubishi Bravos, they are up here on the fender well. So this is where you're gonna find your tag with your VIN and then your frame, the VIN on the frame so you can show the custom guys these match, obviously. And I'm pretty sure that's a timing belt was changed in 2019, which is good. I think that's, I gotta convert that, but mkt japan said it was service before they came over here so i believe them so anyways we need to look at this we have you know here's our chassis u44v which is a four-wheel drive full-time four-wheel drive and i think a 43v would be a two-wheel drive but we want the 4a30 that's the engine so if you get a bravo and um, you see that you got a U, uh, a four, I can't remember what it was now, 430A or something. You cannot use 5W30. You need to use 10W30 or SAE10 or whatever it is, depending on the climates. 10W30 is good for all climates. So being Washington fluctuates hot to cold. So I'm going to use the 10W30. Um, but it has to be 10W30 because um, I bought this. The Liquid Molly 5W30, and that's what I've been running in all my other cars. But the 5W30 is too thin, and it's something with the tappets or something where it could cause damage, Not maybe not enough lubrication um, for that stuff. So... 
gonna do 10w30 so let's just kind of i'll show you what i've done so far so if you're going to change the oil in your bravo and even though it's a route 66 all the bravos are going to be the same um i'll show you where everything's at so let's get down so this is the best thing to do is to jack it up from the front or put it up on wheel ramps there's a cross member right here now if you're gonna jack up the front do not jack it up on this part right here this is your sway bar um you could possibly jack it up behind the sway bar but don't obviously jack up your sway bar the manual says to put it on this cross this like center point right here between the two control arms which i'll be doing a video on i gotta find um bushings all these bushings are just completely shot so we're gonna have to do new bushings in this thing but everything else seems to be pretty good it looks like it has new new boots at least on that side maybe over there looks like the old boots it's completely different than the sandbars and the honda acti that's for sure so anyways jack it up there there's your drain plug drain plug is a 17 mil so obviously carefully unbolt undo your drain plug and then we come over here on the other side and there's your oil filter now be careful right there is your oil pressure sending unit wire which looks like this obviously has uh, broken fallen apart over time I'll have to recover that up but that's for the, well, I'm pretty sure the oil pressure sensor. So here is the oil filter, just to the right of the drive shaft. If you got, um, actually, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, they must all be rear wheel drive. So depending, it doesn't matter if it's two wheel drive or four, but right, right there to the right of the drive shaft and the left of the engine. And what's cool about the oil filters on these is if you have a sandbar <laughs> these oil filters fit the bravos so sandbar oil filters fit which i sell these this is the magnetic piaa oil filter the zm-6 so it's got a magnet in there which is cool so it'll catch anything that goes floating through the system that should not be there so i do have the oil drained and I'll show you, just for those who don't believe me. Nissan Mitsubishi Mazda Subaru. So that filter is what what fits. And I think a HP 1008 is the K&N version that fits. So anyways, got it drained. Put the drain plug back in. There's no crush washer or anything on the drain plug. Just snug it up. Don't crank on it and same with the oil filter snug it up don't crank on it because you have a risk of breaking the o-rings so now we've got to add our oil oh and before i did any of that i ran some liquamoly engine flush through it um just poured the whole bottle in there let it run for like 15 20 minutes just idle don't um put any load on it um so it once it gets hot, it starts cleaning everything out. And so now that we got to add oil, the passenger seat is underneath the passenger seat is where you're gonna find your oil fill. And <clears throat> if you're new to the Bravo, it's got, this is pretty common on most K trucks, the seats fold back. So, um, it will actually, I know the sandbars do for sure. Uh, they they fold up so you can get to the radiator fill and stuff like that but there's just two clamps underneath the seat here so you just i don't want to touch anything because that would be greasy but they just latch onto those so unhook that the seat just flips up and now you have access to your oil fill and then there's your dipstick right there pretty obvious so let's start adding oil to it and by the way Three liters, 3.3 liters, so just about three quarts of oil. 
Also here is that oil filter PIA twin power magnet Z6-M. I saw these in my um, in my store for the sandbars and now the Bravos, obviously. So if you want to get a fancy oil filter, and I will have air filters for the Bravo as well. This fits the U43V, U44, U41V, U42V. Um, fits the mini cabs. So that's a good, the good Nitto brand from Japan. So yeah, let's start adding oil. <laughs> that's the paint. Pretty, uh, pretty impressive for being 25 years old. What's that? But yeah, buffed it, ceramic coated it. Came out pretty good. Almost forgot. Um, I usually add this Liquid Moly Ceratec. It's like a ceramic coating for the inside. Um, I've been putting those in all my K cars. So almost forgot to add that before we fill it up. Tanny. Let that drip in there. So I have just about three quarts in there, three liters in there right now. So I'm gonna lower it back down so it's about uh, level, more level, I should say. Yeah, we're pretty slanted back. So that's pretty level right there. Yeah, I'm already on a slight, slight slope. So I'm gonna check it and see what we're at. So we're just over the tick mark, so I'll run it and should. Just over the tick mark, so if I run it, should go back down a little bit and we'll see what we're sitting at. Hey, and if you spill some oil, you can use it to shine up your plastic parts in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Now we'll let it settle back down. Some of you might be watching this, if you're still watching. Kevin, you have so many K cars, dude. You got so many sandbar trucks, vans, midget. I sold the blue truck. Sadly, I sold the blue truck. My KS, my sandbar KS4. Um, I had this coming and it was just like, man, I got so many, so many, which isn't a problem. It just is a problem when it comes to taking care of them all the time. It gets very expensive. So anyways, I had a guy who lives local message me on Instagram and he's like, Hey, you had a lead on something, but if you'd be selling any of yours, you know, something to the effect where he's like, I doubt you'd be selling any of yours, but if you are, you know, would you want to sell one? So I had been kind of farting with the idea of selling the blue truck for a while, just because I wasn't driving it as much. It was a good truck. I just never really drove it. And uh, I told the guy I would sell the blue truck and he came over and bought it. So as much as I hate to get rid of my cars, um, I had to get rid of the blue one to kind of make room for this Bravo and kind of make up a little cash to pay for this one. So if you see the blue one around and you watch my videos, it probably isn't me. So if he cuts you off or flips you off, it's not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, the guy wasn't nice. I don't think he would do that. Okay, so let's check the oil. Who are you kidding? You can't cut anybody off with these things. Too slow. I'm sitting 
I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just, let's see, just at the, you can see I'm right at the top tick mark. That's where I want to be. So, with that said, how much, how much of this? So if you buy a five quart jug, I'm, now, well, I mean, it's a 4.7 liter jug. I'm just under, just under three quarts. So you can see I'm just under the three quart mark. And I'll check it again, just to make sure. But it's 3.3 liters, which is at cl pretty close to three quarts, I think. I'm, I'm not good with uh, converting the conversions, but I think that was the ticket that uh, Liquid Molly, Ceratec, and a little over three quarts of that. I'll just check it again to make sure. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Whew, well, cool. When the weather, let's try this. When the weather gets a little bit nicer, um, I'll pull the van out to the back and we'll do a little walk around. So I'm really excited to show you guys this, this van. In case you're in the market for trying to find a K van, um, maybe you're tired of the trucks and you want a van. This is actually a really, this is a nice van. Four cylinder, coils all the way around. I don't want to say too much, but um, it's basically almost like a sandbar, except for the motors in the front, which kind of sucks because it's not going to be easy to work on this thing. But um, we still have a lot of the same concepts of kind of the sandbar a little bit, um, or just kind of a four cylinder motor, not a three cylinder coils all the way around not leaf springs which is great um so this is gonna be real easy to lower which is awesome i'm super stoked that i'm gonna be able to lower this thing without having to deal with leaf springs or any of that garbage but anyways um yeah so if you have a bravo or you're getting a bravo just make sure if you got a four four a 30 do not run five w 30 oil make sure you use 10 w 30 um, manual says it's not good to have 5W30 in these. It's probably too lightweight oil and the tappets or something, they get worn out quicker. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks for watching guys. Super stoked on this fan, as you can tell. Can't wait to show you more of it. Um, until then, uh, yeah, take it easy. See you soon.